The lights are on, the cameras are flashing, it is time for action. Good evening fans and welcome to the Hazley Crawford Stadium for live action of coverage of this Digital Pro Bowl, the final cup competition of the 2013-2014 season. W Connection in the white facing up against police who are making their first appearance in a final in 18 years. Should police win this one, it would be the first time in 20 years that they have copped a title. So the players have just met with the officials. The captains are just about to take the toss. Gerard Williams, the W Connection captain. And Todd Ryan, that also instrumental figure for police. So police will be kicking from south to north. W Connection in the all too familiar wide kick. Kit that is, will be kicking from north to south. Well, a pittance of supporters have already piled into the Hazel Crawford Stadium. Not a large crowd by any means. Police fans would be hoping to capture some silverware to end what has not been the best of seasons for the lawmen. While Dobby Connection, the current league champions, the reigning league champions, they would be hoping to grab this final piece of silverware to add to their fine campaign that have seen them win five trophies. So now let's take a look at the starting lineup for both these teams. W Connection in the white, Police in the blue. Police will start with Anton Hutchinson, the defender. Kenaz Williams, he gets the start in place of Kareem Perry, who was ejected for a second yellow card in the last match against Defense Force. A 4-2 thumping for Police. Trent Noel, the number eight, the talisman for the Police team. In fact, he's wearing number 10 tonight. He will spearhead their midfield alongside Elijah Roberts. Jamil Perry, who is expected to shoulder much of the scoring responsibility for police. Dexter Allen, the defender. Adrian Fonset will be the man wearing the gloves in goal. Kristen Thomas, the former St. Anne's Rangers man, he gets a start. And Elijah Belgrave, together with Captain Todd Ryan and Cleveland McPhee. Derby connection. Stuart Charles Fulvia choosing to select a team that he is quite too familiar with. Kurt Fredericks at right, at left back. Gerard Williams in the center, he's the captain. Silvio Spann, the experienced World Cup midfielder. He's in the squad. Jovin Jones, Gerald Brito, Hashim Alsiem, Mikel Williams, Julani Archibald, the goalkeeper. Joel Russell in place of Daniel Cyrus, who's off in Vietnam. Stefano Riesel and Alvin Jones at right back. So it's police now in possession, trying to create an attack. Jamil Perry stretching his long legs, going out wide. Can't get past Alvin Jones. Or in fact, Joel Russell was drifted into the right back area. But here now is a throw to the lawman. Dexter Allen taking this one. Gets it forward now. Looking to get a good cross in, not without opportunity. It's going to be a corner kick to the lawmen. So the lawmen win the first corner kick of the match. Just a few seconds gone in this crucial Pro Bowl encounter. So they all here now is police with an opportunity to create something early on. They've got six blue shirts in the area. Dobby Connection has opted to bring all 11 players back in their box, in their third of the pitch. Police now, a high looping one. It's headed away and a chance now for police, an acrobatic chance. And Julani Archibald, the St. Kitts international goalkeeper, he had to be acrobatic to get that out. In fact, it had gone out of touch before he touched it. So it is going to be a goal kick to Dobby Connection. An early scare there for Connection. And we see Jamil Perry going for the acrobatics. Unfortunately for Connection, they survive. You know, it's Archibald certainly... The man seen by many as the instrumental figure in getting them to the finals. Two kicks, or two saves rather, in the penalty shootout against Central FC in the semi-final. Here comes W Connection now. It's out wide to Stefano Riesel. Riesel looking for Brito inside. In fact, he finds Gerald Joven Jones. A chance now for Ashim Arsia. Wibbles past one. Wiggles. Will he swing that left foot? No, he's going to turn back. Looking for some movement. Finds it in Kurt Russell overlapping there, but he seems to be losing possession now. Manages to keep it in. 
does win a true. So Dobby Connection attacking in numbers. Jovin Jones, he certainly will be the talisman for W Connection. As Hashim Asia gives it away cheaply now. So police looking to create some space for themselves. Finds Jamil Perry. Police fighting to keep it. It's the chase is on now down the right hand side. W Connection are retreating. Police have got one inside and the linesman has got his flag up. So it's not going to count to the end. It is going to be a W Connection through. So quite an even contest so far, no team really dominating. To be fair, just a few minutes has gone in this encounter, two minutes to be exact. As police dump it forward now, police certainly surprise finalists to this competition. They haven't been in the finals in 18 years, would you believe that? A 4-2 thumping of the defense force, getting them to the finals, courtesy a double strike from brothers Jamil and Kareem Perry. Unfortunately, Kareem will miss the finals. Been given a late yellow card by referee Cecile Hines. He will miss as a result of that. Police now, they certainly have not been shy at attacking the W Connection goal. They have an opportunity now from a free kick. All but two men in the area attacking this one. Trent Noel, the former national team midfielder. It's known for his wicked right foot. Can his right foot conjure up something now for the Blue Shields? Plays it back and a shot that won't even trouble the grandmother. Here's a chance now as Trent Noel wibbles past one, swings it inside, but it's away by connection. Can't get it away as police sends that one into the night sky and the ball boys will have fun with that one. The goalkeeper, no trouble at all. It's a corner kick, in fact. The so police have won a corner. Here's a bit of the action again. Todd Ryan battling for that one. And a shot that was quite fortunate to get a touch. Nothing really in that shot. So here is police now with their second corner of the match. Trent Noel stands over this one. Can they do something differently? Toby Connection gets this one away. But they still got to defend, though, as police remain with it. Here comes police now. A long ball to no one in particular. And I'm sure Coach Richard Hood is not going to be a happy man by that piece of... or lack of enterprise thereof. Interesting to note, Aaron Dongning, a former W Connection player. He's on the bench for police this evening. As Alvin June gives it away cheaply now. Here's Jamil Perry. Can't perform his dance moves. Past Joel Russell. Russell has been on and off in this W Connection team. Gets his start tonight. Daniel Cyrus off to Vietnam. But here is police now looking to create something. Perry tries to wiggle and waggle, loses it. And so too does the number 11, or in fact the number 12. So Trent Noel certainly getting a lot of dead ball opportunities around the area. Toby Connection would be warned not to give him too many of these. It's not often that he doesn't create something special. Here comes Noel now, whips this one in deep, and a police head gets it, can't get it. Jovin Jones misses that one completely. I'm not sure he saw that one. And the chase is on now, but Stefano Riesel will lose out, but a poor pass would give him right back. Here yeah, now is Hashim Arcier looking to create something now. Nothing created there. As police, police seem to be dominating this contest. One would wonder what their game plan would be for this match. Richard Hood has achieved some level of success somewhat for police he's gotten them to the finals but here comes the lawman now it's the number 21 streaming down the middle todd ryan really up for a shot he does and perhaps it's better that he made a different decision because that one was nowhere near its intended target 
Son Ryan, certainly one of the veterans of this police team. Quite an aged team, this police team. Compared to W Connection, whose average age is roughly around 25 years. W Connection trying to create some space now. They haven't been granted their wish of finding space. Stefano Riesel battling for this one. Gets it outside to Hashim Asier. Plays it out wide to Alvin Jones. Can't find Brito as the big boot interrupts that one. Here's Mikael Williams gets up high. Only as far away as police. Toby Connection win it back now. Alvin Jones, or in fact, Mikael Williams. Finds Alvin Jones. Surprisingly left out of Stephen Hart's Argentina squad. But W Connection win it back. Stefano Riesel. He has a crack. And that one goes over to the Mondo side of the pitch. So not many shots on target so far in this contest. In fact, I'm struggling to remember any shot that has been on target. The long kick up the field by the police custodian. Adrian Fonset, former national youth player. Gerard Williams wins it now. Finds it inside to Silvio Span, but referee Neil Brazan calls that one back. Another bad job from referee Brazan thus far. That is a high boot there. The referee spotting the danger against Alvin Jones. But he seems to be all right. He's rubbing it off. He's a country boy, you know. You rub that off and you get going again. Here's Jovin Jones now. Finds Gerard Williams. Ass here. It's out to Alvin Jones. Alvin Jones back inside. Jovin, his brother. So W Connection finally managing to keep possession. They are known as a team who values possession. Haven't been able to do it so far, but they are keeping possession now. Just about six passes already completed. Here's Ashim Asia trying to turn, and he's bulldozed there. That's illegal, says the referee. We're gonna win a free kick that's taken quickly. One back by police. Only as far as Jones now tries to control it, he can't do so. Police keep it looking for a quick counter attack. Will they find it now? No, says Joel Russell. But here comes Jovin Jones trying to find Gerald Brito. He's got some options inside. Picks out Alvin Jones, overlapping, looking for good service. He gets a touch of the police player. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. And that is going to be Dobby Connection's first corner of the match. So the Savannah boys finally getting some movement and some penetration. Has won them their very first corner of the match. Going to be taken by Jovin Jones, sporting the fancy new hairstyle. Whips this one, can't get any flight on it. His brother Alvin keeps it in, finds his brother Jovin. Jovin can't keep it in, that's going to be a throw in. Alvin Jones now gets it inside, can't find Mikael Williams, and police have a chance to break. Give it away. So no stage fright being shown by the police team. Not accustomed to the big stage. Quite familiar with the bottom half of the table. But they are not showing that they are intimidated in any sense of the word so far. Here comes Jovin Jones now looking for his left foot. Oh, he can't get it. Gerard Williams cleans up. Here now is Kurt Fredericks. Fredericks has a crack that is well held by Adrian Fonset in the end. Never troubled him. Fonset had his eyes on it all the way through. Police win it back now. Can't seem to settle this ball. Here's Silvio Span plays it out wide. Looking for resale. Yes, yeah, and a chance that bounces over the crossbar. How close was that? Out of nowhere, Alan.
of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Gerald breathes over the chance, and some would say he should have done better. So Gerald Brito getting the first shot anywhere close to the target for W Connection. In fact, the second shot narrowly wide of the upright. Quite unfortunate in the end. And W Connection, out of nothing, could have been 1-0 up. They still can't now. Brito can't keep it. No, he can't. Here comes Police. Long up the field. Finds his player. And here's the number 21, Todd Ryan, looking to create something out wide now. It's a foot race. The police are going to win it. And a quick cross on the inside by Julani Archibald. He's not even concerned. So Toby Connection looking to start their attack. Gerard Williams plays it out to Alvin Jones. Alvin Jones finds his brother Joven making a good run. And that's a dummy there, poor defending perhaps. And a chance now, but it goes out. And it's going to be a goal kick to police. So some good defending in the end. It did look quite nervous some way in the middle, but all's well that ends well, according to Shakespeare. So I guess that's what it is for police at the moment. Adrian Fonset now with the big boot up the field. Gerard Williams, the St. Kitts International, making some good height there, winning it for police. Here they come again, police. Long boots up the field, back to Fonset, who gets an opportunity, rare opportunity for goalkeepers to show off their footwork. Fonset now, he's going to take his time, trying to find Perry, when he picks out Williams. Jovin Jones now tries to turn, quite sloppy with his touches thus far in the, in the contest. Jovin Jones, usually a quite tidy player. Here come police now. Can they force a counter-attack? W connection. Oh, that's a good turn there from police. And it's a oh, fake. That almost sends his man and sends the crowd into some sort of appreciation. No end result in the end, though. So certainly a bit of skill being shown off there by police. W connection, they have to defend this one. Alvin Joan comes away with it. Gallops out from the back. He finds his brother Jovin. Yes, Jovin Jones. In fact, Gerald Brito. Gerald Brito cuts inside now, looking for the run of Ashim Asier. Finds the stagnant high jump mat behind the goal. Not sure that was his intended target. So both teams struggling to keep possession and to create some tidy football. But it is a final. Lots of nerves on show. As police try to muster something now. Certainly cannot be taken for granted after the 4 2 thumping of the defense force. There's a tumble by Trent Noel. The referee Brizan doesn't seem interested. Here's Hashim RC you now. Turns well. Finds Gerald Brito. Brito. Joe Jones loses his footing. And police now will the attack from the left hand side now. Trent Noel storming forward. Can't find Perry. But it's an opportunity still. Todd Ryan now. He looks up. Can't find any support. He's forced to go back. And police W collection. To their credit, they have maintained good pressure. Police are finding it difficult to find some space. But that's a good turn there from Trent Noel. There's a tackle coming in. Again, Brizan isn't interested. But here's Ashim Ars here now to create something. Stefano Riesel finds himself in a whole heap of space now. He's got one to run at. Cuts inside. Tries to find Ars here, but he doesn't in the end. And really disappointing how that turned out. Promised so much. Fonset gets another opportunity to start a police attack. Trent Noel. It's interesting to see the contest going on in midfield between Trent Noel and Gerard Williams of W Connection. Trent Noel certainly one of the Pro League's best players over the past decade. Gerard Williams, he's in Kids International. Shoeing perhaps one of the candidates for players of the season. Here comes police now. 
A chance from the left-hand side. They've got space inside. Here's Kenaz Williams with a shot. And that one goes over the top of the crossbar. So the former national of the 17 player, Kenaz Williams, getting a start. Perhaps hope to impress there. No such luck. You'll have to try again. It's a dobby connection. Very methodical and patient in their build-up. Police keep the pressure, and there could be a chance now as Kareem Perry, Jamil Perry rather, almost snuck in there. And Julani Archibald seems to be in some sort of discomfort or some sort of trouble. I hope you can see him in your picture anytime soon. Here's the challenge from Perry. An L underweighted back pass, and Perry had all right going in there. Archibald had to be alert, and alert he was. But so too now are the physiotherapists as they rush to his assistance. One would hope that this injury isn't very serious. Archibald has been in fine form. In fact, he's been credited with getting Dobby Connection to the finals. Saved two kicks, including that of Willis Plaza in the semi-final against Central FC. So lots of concerned faces standing over the Sin Kitts native. Archibald. Well, the backup keeper, Aquilia Sylvester, he's warming up on the sidelines. One will hope that it's never nice to see a goalkeeper come off, or any player for that matter, come off so early. It's such a crucial match. Still a lot of concerned faces, just the top half of his body moving. Well, there's a pleasant picture. Shake your pom-poms, shake your pom-poms, girl. Well, Gerard Williams seems to be signaling something as Neil Brazan looks at his watch. Certainly a lot of time being extended, expended here, rather. It's Choi Budu Singh, the W Connection physiotherapist. He gets to work on restoring the injured goalkeeper. Sylvester, he's on the touchline. He's getting ready to perhaps make an entry into the game. Oh, some of the fans there. Some youth coaches, well-known youth coaches, witnessing the action. But Archibald, he seems to be all right as his boot is being restored to its rightful position and his right foot. There we go. Testing out that leg now. Certainly a concerned Congress standing around. You can see Joel Russell, Gerard Williams, Mikel Williams, Silvio Spanol. With that concern on their faces. Stuart Charles Fervier looking on. You can also see Aquilia Sylvester getting all warmed up. Oh, Sylvester, he's going to have a sit down now. It's hard to warm up and then sit down. But, uh, but the good news is that Jelani Archibald, he's all right. He, he seems to be all right. He's back on his feet now. Strong boy as the play continues. Here's police now. They'll be hoping to test that right leg of Archibald's. If they can. Toby Connection win it back to Kurt Fredericks. Finds Jobin Jones now. And Jones finds no one in particular. In fact, that is not Jobin Jones. So there is the police hierarchy on the bench. Coach Richard Hood, the former under 17 women's coach and coaching instructor. Quite untested on the senior level, Richard Hood. Be hoping to make a big splash in the Pro League with this police team. Have been a competitive unit all season. Perhaps not quite having the resources of some of the bigger teams. But they have made do with what they have so far. Here's Perry. It's going to be a W connection throw. Dexter Allen gets it in quickly. Gerard Williams does the opposite of that. But still back with the police. The ball across the field now. Elijah Belgrave giving it away, but he recovers well. To send it all the way back to his goalkeeper who has to be quick. Oh, 
Alvin Jones, he's under some pressure. Goes down, no whistle by the referee, and it's a quick chance for Freddie Snow as Trent Noel gets off his cannon, but he's firing blanks at the moment. Trent Noel. W connection. Mikel Williams finds Gerard Williams. Lots of Williams on this W connection team. Here comes police. Oh. All right. If there are any thieves around, they may not like the song of that. Here comes police. Well, referee Brizan seems to be unhappy about something, some development happening on the field. But it seems to be an opportunity now for police to make a raid. No pun intended. Well, here now is Trent Noel. He stands over this one. Got lots of blue shirts inside. But it's a shot with some ferocious power, but unfortunately no direction whatsoever. So Archibald, <laughs> the shot certainly packed a punch, lacked direction to say the least, and Archibald was never worried. Has an opportunity now to start the W connection attack. This one is high in the air. Nobody could get it. Goes into touch. W connection now. But try to get the momentum going. The game has slowed considerably. Alvin Jones skips past one, but he loses possession. Trent Noel tries to turn. He can't do so. Here's Jovin Jones now. Chips it forward to Gerald Brito. Gerald Brito tries to shield his man, but that is some good defending in the end. On the other end now, Tommy Connection being forced to defend. All the way back to Leslie Russell. Silvio Span. Here's Stefano Riesel. He likes to run at them. But he tempers his natural instinct. Fever of possession. Gerard Williams. All the way across to Alvin Jones. Can't control it. Finally does. Finds Gerard Williams. Brito. Some good touch football being demonstrated by Connection now. And a chance now. <laughs> and unfortunately, he takes a thing, but they still win it back now. He has a chance to get a shot off, and that one is into the stands. You can say hi to some spectators while he's there. Adrian Fonset now to start the police attack. And Richard Hood, he's a very animated picture. And there we go. We never seem to understand what coaches are saying. Now we see them waving their arms wildly. Oh, that's some good skill there from Perry. He's protesting, perhaps thought he was fouled. Uh, referee Brizan not interested. Dobby Connection defending deep in their half as they try to create something going forward now. Resell coming back very deep. Finds Silvio Span. Such a cool figure, Silvio Span. And a long ball. There's Brito making a good run. Nobody in there looking, supporting him. Still no white shirts in the area yet. They're slow to get there. Finally do. It's all the way back to Span. Joven Jones hasn't made his mark yet in this game. He finds his brother Alvin. Alvin now back to Joven. Joven. Who almost lost it. Still managed to keep possession. Span back to Gerard Williams. He's got lots of white shoots ahead of him. Picks out the option of Fredericks. And Fredericks with time and space now to make a good service. And, uh, well, he did the opposite of what was expected. But he still wins a corner kick. So Dobby Connection winning their second corner of the evening. Silvio Span entrusted with taking this one.
W Connection, they've got five white suits on the inside. Raymond McLean, the W Connection manager in your picture. Silvio Spot whipping this one in. And certainly it, it seemed to be on its way to goal and the defender not intervened. But here's police. Todd Ryan, the skipper. Trying to get some forward movement. He does now. There's Trent Noel. Wiggle, waggle. Looking for support now. A chance. A crossover. And a flick. Looking for Perry. Perry doesn't have the legs to catch it. He does catch it. But he is under pressure from Alvin Jones now. Plays it all the way back. And he's whipping this one inside to no one in particular. But police still manage to keep possession, do they? Yes, there's a chance now. And maybe a shot. And a mock save from the goalkeeper. Patronize the shot more than anything else. The goalkeeper. But not a bad effort from police. The lawmen have suddenly sprung back into life. Well, the crowd seems to be picking up here at the Hazel Crawford Stadium. The final cup game, or in fact, the final game of the 2013-2014 season being played right here. A late switch from the Marvin Lee Stadium, which was the original venue. A lot of these players, for them, self-preservation might be key as the Soka Warriors get set to play Argentina on June 4th. Chauvin Jones, one of the players selected for that match. Here comes Silvio Span. So it's a quick free kick. In fact, that is stopped. Here's Gerard Williams now. Williams, Jones. Back to Williams. Looking to create some width now. Does that successfully. Silvio Span takes the touch all the way back to Joel Russell. So Dobby Connection really starting to create some width for themselves now. Stretching out the police players. They yeah, have found it difficult to penetrate this police back line. Police good, of course, at containing. That's their job, put on and off the pitch. Containment. Here now is Alvin Jones. He's got some white shoots to aim at. Plays it back to Mikel Williams. Back inside now. Brito keeps it. All the way across to Stefano Riesel. Here comes the Surinamese player, always looking for space. It's taken from him. Kurt Russell now to get across in, and he wins the third corner for Dobby Connection. So police, perhaps a bit leg weary now, are starting to lie back in their half as Dobby Connection advance forward. 30 minutes gone so far in this encounter. 15 remaining in the first half. This goal badly needs a goal. Can Silvio Span and his service provide one? Whips it in now, long and deep, and nobody could get there. And that is a wasted corner kick. Adrian Fonset, so far doing a good job preserving a clean sheet for the lawmen. Stefano Riesel, he's going to win this one. Another opportunity to run at the police back line. Here he goes on one of his winding, amazing runs now. Finds Alvin Jones, who can't keep it in. Slip up, perhaps. That one goes on to touch. Alvin Jones, son of former national player. Kelvin Jones. Together with his brother, Jovin Jones, both representing W Connection. Here's Jamil Perry now. Jamil Perry can't turn this man. In fact, he's fouled. It is going to be an opportunity now for the lawman to create something, a good bit of skill there from Perry. Chet Noel stands over this one. Tries to find a blue shield. He does so. Perry now. 
find the player. A good turn on the inside of the shot that goes wide of the mark. And it's the second time that that one has flashed just wide of the target. Perry with a good piece of skill to find this player. Good turn from the number 19, Kristen Thomas, former St. Anne's Rangers man. But unfortunately, he couldn't find the target. So now here now is Joel Russell. Stefano Riesel. Hashim Asia struggling to keep control of that one. Here now comes W Connection breaking down the left hand side. It's Riesel. Brito is on the inside. So to his job and George. Brito has a shot and has that been saved. In fact, has been. Thank goodness he didn't cut his fingertips this morning. Just getting the faintest of touch to deny the Suriname's international. He has looked dangerous all season, cutting in that goal. And what a fine save from Adrian Fonset, the former youth international. Derby connection, though, for them. It is their fourth corner of the match. Certainly brought the crowd to life there with that one. Can they further bring them to life with a goal? Silvio Span, he would hope to provide that type of service. They've got the big men inside. Mikel Williams, Hashim Asier. This one is headed away by police. Could be another chance for W Connection. A wild swing into the area in the direction now of Mikel Williams. He can't get it. It's going to be another corner. And it's corner number five for W Connection now. There was just some members. You can see Lester Peltier, Kaleem Highland, and just some of the Andre Buku, Coach Stephen Hart, members of the national squad preparing for the Argentina match. That's a chance now. What a save there. And Fon said has to get a second bite at it. He manages to keep it out. It's not out of the woods yet, but he finally grabs hold of this one. And the crowd are certainly applauding his efforts. You can see here the well-floated corner. Good header there from Arcia. And what a save was that from the former youth international goalkeeper. Imagine Stephen Hart would have enjoyed that. The national team, of course, are in camp for the friendly matches against Argentina on June 4th and Iran on June 8th. Oh, W Connection could attack further here now. Oohs and ahs ring around the crowd now. Here's Riesel to nobody in particular. Well, Richard Hood now, he's gotten off his throne. His team are under attack. As W Connection have sprung to life. Here comes Connection once again. Stefano Rizal bursting down the left-hand side. He likes to run at them. So far, he's created most of the excitement. Will he create some more now? Oh, can't get past his man this time. Gerard Williams bails out the danger. Joven Jones. Alfred Williams out wide now. Dobby Connection not too eager to attack the penalty area. Seems not to be their game plan, but here comes a chance for Russell or Frederick. A slide in clearance keeps this one safe for the policemen. But here is Silvio Span now. Oh, the poor pass from Span. Could it be broken up by police? They thump it up the field. It could be a counter attack or no. Oh, my goodness. A high boot, not spotted by the referee, but here comes the lawman. Here comes Babylon. Broken up by Alvin Jones. Gerald Brito. He's got Jones to his right, finds him. And a sliding tackle there. 
appeals for a foul. Not appreciated by the linesman. So it's police who come away with this one as the game has suddenly sprung into life. Looking for some options now. Finds Hutchinson. Trent Noel puts it on the inside. Police. Trent Noel. Ever present in every police attack trying to find Jamil Perry. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper who has to, had to be skillful. He had to be quick there as well. Kurt Fredericks plays it inside. And the referee has stopped the match. Tending to an injured player. Signaling for the bench. So what a piece of tempo we've had in the last five minutes of the game. Certainly provided some pulsating action. 37 minutes gone. Seven minutes from halftime. Well, Hood certainly would use the opportunity to send some encouragement to his players. As the Elijah Belgrave gets to his feet. Elijah Belgrave, of course, the brother of defense force striker, Josima Belgrave. Belgrave seems to be in some pain, but on his feet now, hanging on to his hamstring. Just stretching it out there. Hope it's not too serious. But here comes W Connection now. Jovin Jones trying to find some space. Gives it away. Looks a bit nervous tonight, Jones. But here comes Police. Here comes Babylon. A long ball up the field to find Jamil Perry. He sneaks in and a chance. And oh my goodness, the goalkeeper had to be alert. Well, Perry certainly is a tricky customer. He's getting in there. He can't seem to give him a half chance. And Derby Connection, they've got to be careful. Here comes Hashim Asier. Stefano Riesel picks up now. Would there be a chance on now for Riesel? Back to Asier. Plays it out wide to Alvin Jones. He's been very much involved in this match. Across now to Jobin Jones. Loses his marker well, finds his brother Alvin. He's got two to aim at now. Will he find any one of them? RCA with a chance, but good defending by Belgrave, who seems to be okay now. Gerard Williams uses illegal means to get the better of his, his man. Huh? So it's police now. Trent Noel looking to start something. Gives it away just as quickly. And police would give it away just as quickly. And referee Brizan. Interrupts the signal. A free kick to W Connection. We take it quickly. So a handball opportunity. A handball there missed by the referee. Elijah Belgrave using his hand. Asia appealing. Alvin Jones has certainly seen his fair share of the ball this evening. What can he do now? Can he make it count? As Joven gets an opportunity and that went like a kite into the night sky. Mr. Staggett, Alvin Jones getting into a good position. Well set up by Asia and Jovin Jones opting to go first time. It's the last time he's going to be doing that, if that's the end result. He's a brave kid. He's not afraid to try his luck, Jovin Jones. Alvin Jones forced to work hard on both ends of the pitch now. His omission from the national squad to face Argentina certainly shocked many people who thought that the enterprising right back may have deserved this pick. But here comes Stefano Riesel. Now Riesel, such a bundle of talent, this Suriname's player. Injury robbed him of most of the season. But he seems to be nearing his best form. Back outside now. Fredericks floats this one inside. Can't find Brito. It's intercepted by Fonset. And the break is on now for police. They can't seem to find space going forward. It's played back. Here they come again now. The blue shirts of police. Derby connection. Going forward. Very patient in their build-up. Gerard Williams seems to be almost involved in everything. He's like Saul tonight. 
Here now is Riesel. Riesel given space and time, and my goodness, must have miscued a shot. He must be disappointed with himself that he hadn't gotten that one on target. But it certainly was foolish or fool, foolhardy by the policemen to allow him that amount of space and time. As a very devastating left and right foot. Policemen chancing the opportunity to allow him to shoot. Here comes Perry now. Certainly is an exciting candidate, Perry. Can't get past his man. In fact, he's won. Uh, in fact, he's, he's been given as a goal kick by referee Brizan. So three minutes remaining in the first half of this encounter between Police FC and Dobby Connection. The score remains goalless. And to be fair, neither team seemed to have done much, although Dobby Connection can claim they had the better of the chances. Some fantastic saves by Fonset, keeping police in the game. But the policemen, they have not looked overawed. They've looked into the bright light. They've embraced it. And they have a chance now to perhaps take the lead. Trent Noel gets another bite. Well, police, they're just dumping blue shirts forward. Trent Noel, lots to aim at. Floats this one in on a chance here. Oh, a dive! That was a ghost dive, perhaps. Nowhere near the ball. But he certainly entertained the crowd, such as the determination of the police players. And there we go. And here's that dive. Oh my goodness. Splish splash. That's a belly flop there, you'd call that in the country. Dexter Allen. Well, here now is Hashim Asier. Tries to find Jones on the inside. Gerard Williams breaks it up. Silvio Span. Out wide to resell. Here comes Scoot Fredericks. Always eager to overlap. Resell ups to play it inside. Back to resell now. Gerard Williams picks up, spreads it out wide. Silvio Span gets it now. Alvin Jones. And Gerald Brito has migrated to the right hand side of the pitch. Started in a central forward position. But such is the mobility of the W Connection team. As the fourth official signals, two minutes remaining. We've just about come to the end of regulation time. So two minutes remaining. Remains goalless. Can either team or any team snatch a goal that would give them the advantage going into the half? Police looking for that now. Could police beat that team? Not on that opportunity. But they do win a corner. Corner number three for the lawmen. So police now with an opportunity to grab a late advantage. Certainly would make Coach Hood a happy man going into the half if they can snatch something up from this corner kick. Trent Noel, how often have you seen him stand behind the ball? It's a numbers game. Will he find some success this time around? Noel floats this one in, looking for a blue shirt. Goes up high in the air, the keeper comes, he can't get it. It's boxing around like a table tennis match on a chance and well blocked in the end. Well, the W Connection fans certainly appreciated the defensive effort there by Hashim Asiye. But the danger is not over yet. Here comes police, but the goalkeeper, Archibald, seems to be in some pain. Didn't seem to pick up much contact there from the replay. We can see coming for this one, climbing, missing that one. Not much contact on the goalkeeper. Perhaps the old injury acting up again. It seems to be his right foot that is causing him some discomfort at the moment. Hopefully we can catch a sight of him. Oh, there we go. Finally in a picture. So worries now for the W Connection bench. Julani Archibald, the starting goalkeeper, goes down. Would it be for the count? Will he survive the 10 count? Stuart Charles Fervier doesn't look very hopeful. 
Well, just to give you an idea of the W Connection bench, they've got Chris Aquilia Sylvester, the former Naparima College goalkeeper. He's their backup number one. Certainly got some opportunities to play during this season. Christian Viveros, the Colombian player, he is also on the bench, as well as Jem Gordon, the Tobago player, Jamal Williams, and Neil Benjamin Jr. So lots of attacking options. Devon Elliott also gets an opportunity to make his way on the bench. But seems to be much ado about nothing in the end. As the goalkeeper seems to be okay this time around. But here's police. Can't be much time remaining. In added on time. As police. Trent Noel gets this one. Has one to deal with. Can he find some space to whip one in? He has, he has the wall out wide now. Looking to find a blue shield in the area. They do win a corner. Well, one last chance, one might imagine, for this police team. To grab a lead. We certainly created all sorts of chaos in the area last time, the last corner they, they had. So lots of blue shields. Movement in the area. They try to dig a little different now. A chance now. Oh, flipper flopper. Oh, that's a good turn from Perry though. From Todd Ryan, in fact. More blue shields in the area. They're hoping for this ball to get in there. Oh, that's a clever piece of play there. Yes, Todd Ryan. He can't get in. It takes a deflection. And that one goes up in the air. The danger is still right. Derby Connection. Oh, trying to scramble this one. And here comes the whistle. And that is the end of the first half. Referee Neil Brazan blows two blasts of his whistles. Well, second half kickoff has just taken place in this match. Pro Bowl final between W Connection and the Police FC. W Connection in the white strip. Police in their customary blue strip. The match remains goalless. Neither team penetrating the other in the first half of action. But police have an opportunity to perhaps do so now. Pumped forward, Alvin Jones gets up high to get that one away. Here comes Silvio Span now, trying to create something. It's Riesel who picks it up. It's control not the best. Looking inside, trying to find Jovin Jones under a ton load of pressure. He loses possession. It's police muscle their way back into possession now. Oh, poor touch on police. Here comes Gerald Brito. Brito tries to outmuscle his man would have done so successfully had it been a WWE wrestling match. Unfortunately, in football, that is illegal, friend. So it is going to be a police free kick. Only as far as Alvin Jones, who a poor touch from the younger Jones now. As police try to wiggle and waggle their way, Ken As Williams goes down in a heap. He's won the foul, though. Very tight contest indeed. Neither team really making any foothold. Derby Connection would hope to do differently now. Jovin Jones, nice spin there. He's got Brito to his left, finds him. Calling for offside. No, says the referee. Yes, Gerard Williams now. Back to Brito. Brito cuts inside, looking for room. Oh, it's his player in the face. Stands firm, in fact, he goes down in a heap. The play continues, though. Looks painful as Perry can't get past. Oh, my goodness, is that a mistake there? Mikel Williams under some pressure. He finally... Joel Russell, it's a miscommunication. It's a poor communication all around. As the players call back, as the referee goes to attend to the injured player. Elijah Roberts seems to be that player. A blast to the face there. My goodness, that must have hurt somewhat. Seems to be all right now. Players get an opportunity to catch their breath again.
So it's perhaps a bounce ball. It is. So we can actually keep possession in their own half. Switched across the pitch, Salvin Jones. Seemed to have lost it there for a second in the light. But here's Stefano Riesel giving chase now. Heads it forward. Ashim Asie trying to employ some of his footwork. Got long legs, Hashim Asie. Toby Connection switching it across to Gerald Brito on the chest. One, two, left foot swings. And not a bad effort. Would have been better had it been on target, but certainly some skills from the young Brito. National youth player, certainly played at all levels. Coming up the age group ranks on the 17 and the 19 teams. Gerald Brito hasn't quite broken into the senior national setup though. Here's one high in the air now. Gerard Williams battles for this one with Kenaz Williams. In fact, Perry has come back very deep to battle for that one. Here now is Frederick. Gets it inside. Brito can't turn. Brito has another bite now. He loses it out now. Here comes Police again. He's got Perry to his right. Goes down in a heap. Chet Noel. No whistle forthcoming from Nafri Brazil. In fact, finally does get one. Or oh, is it a throw in? It is in fact a throw in. So it's the low men now to attack. Perry trying to flick on. Very scrappy contest at the moment. Both teams struggling to find passes. To be fair, both teams have pressed very high up the pitch. This may have contributed to the lack of passes sticking. kick to W connection started in their field of the pitch Gerard Williams such a cool figure in the center of the park hardly seems to lose the ball Gerard Williams plays it out right to Alvin Jones bundling forward like a stallion back to Gerard Williams the St. Kitts player turns well looking for space finds it all the way back with Mikael Williams switched across to Fredericks now Rito. Tucked inside now. And another chance now for Brito on his left foot. Switch tries to find Arcier. Perhaps a shot may have been better advised. But here comes police now. They break now, looking for something. Trent Noel being forced outside in a wide position. It's Williams struggles to keep this one. Todd Ryan loses possession. On sure footing there from the police skipper. Stefano Riesel has an opportunity to break. He has space and boy does he love space. Alvin Jones overlapping now. Beats his man well. Got time and space to make a good cross. And the end result there. A bit disappointed. But here's another chance. And it's a goal! What a fantastic goal there from W Connection. What a goal. Stefano Riesel. He seems to be the lock that picks the lock every time they're in a jam. They struggle to find a goal here. Police, a poor clearance in the air, and Stefano Riesel uses it to put his name in the headlines as he gives a 1 0 lead. Well, the Surinamese player wasted no time in getting W Connection on the score sheet. Banging that one from close range. No chance there for Adrian Fonset. And it's the Sabonetta boys who have taken a wonder lead against police. But credit to Alvin Jones, did all the hard work down the right-hand side. Police tried to clear, unfortunately took a deflection off Riesel, who had the composure to put that one away. Here come police now. How will they respond to this? Oh, they have an opportunity now. And it's a chance, no whistle. In fact, the whistle has gone, so that one is going to be pulled back. Tristan Thomas for a second thought that he may have been home and dry. Well, Richard Hood paints a picture of disappointment at the moment. 
This police boy certainly by no means have been outplayed in this match. But they've had a bit of ill luck. Here comes Fredericks now. As Dobby Connection tries to press home that advantage. Gerald Brito on the left. Plays it back to Frederick now. Frederick does well to get past his man. Can he get past another? Oh, well, the man goes down, but he, he doesn't want to relinquish the ball. Here's Fredericks now. Whipping inside. RCM missing. And a chance. A ball! What a finish! My goodness! In the space of two minutes, drop your connection. And look who is the goal scorer. I warned you about that man. You don't give him an ounce of space. Joven Jones, he might be invisible for most of the match, but he does seem to appear at the right moment. Hashim RCM. They lead by two goals to nil against Police FC. My, my, my. No one could have scripted a story better than this one. The lawmen, well, they seem to have this one contained until Dobby Connection in the space of two minutes. Could be less. They have taken a 2 nil advantage. The police house is on fire. Somebody call the fire engine. How will the lawman respond? Well, Richard Hood, if you look to think of this appointment before, he is the picture now. If you look in the dictionary under the definition of disappointment, just might see the name Richard Hood. As his side up allowed that to fall apart, will they respond? Here comes the lawman. Roberts plays that one to nobody in particular, perhaps to the linesman who doesn't seem interested in getting a touch so it's going to be Dobby Connections ball suddenly this game has sprung to life and there seems to be some changes Werner Ramirez, the former St. Augustine player he seems to be the man warming up set to come in, former national youth player under 17 player well Hood certainly seeing the need now to shake things up a bit Dobby Connection they are hungry, they want more goals. Alvin Jones always eager to be on the offensive end of the pitch. But it's this one up for to resell. Does well to keep it in. But the goal scorer can't. So it's gonna be police ball. Well, resell always seems to be that impact player. Always seems to be the player to get a goal out of nowhere. Such a valuable figure. As Vernel Ramirez gets set to come on. And it is Elijah Roberts who's going to make way for the former national under 17 player Ramirez to come on. Certainly showed lots of potential in his youth days, Ramirez. Still trying to transition on the senior level. Still a young player. Got the connection now to face the onslaught of Ramirez. Looking to get his first touch there. Then four kind before him. But here comes W Connection. Two nil leaders. <laughs> Gerald Brito, the man in your picture. Contributing to the first goal. Was his cross inside. In fact, the second goal is crossed inside, finding the skipper, Jovin Jones. Leslie Russell, a bit of nervous moments for a second. Gets his composure, finds Russell, slips. As they lose possession. So police, they're fighting to get back in this contest. They've got to rethink their plan, their strategy. Coach Richard Hood already opting to make the substitution. Roberts, the midfielder, making way for Vernel Ramirez. And it seems he's added an extra striker. So police now playing with three strikers as Ramirez gets his first touch on the ball. Todd Ryan to no one in particular. We certainly need him for players like him to tighten up. If they had to make any impact, but here comes Jovin Jones. Scored the second goal for W Connection. Finds Gerald Brito. Can he add his name to that? Let's know, says the referee, as the flag goes up for the offside. But police, no hesitation now, as they try to create a quick attack. A 
in the, mat the matter of two minutes. Police from keeping it, let me connect you out all match. I fell behind a two little, a two little deficit. Here comes the lawmen. Boys in blue now. Looking to tease something up. Is Jet Noel? Can't find his man. This one now dropping kindly now for police. Oh, and a chance and a slip there. Eli. Kristen Thomas. Jet Noel. Jet Noel can't get his crossings with Thomas now. Thomas now. He's got some blue shields on the inside. Finds one. Can't find space. Here's Thomas again. Trying to float this one in. Can't pass the white shields of W Connection. Brito retreating now to try and clear the danger. Gerard Williams. He's pulled. Does win. The police do win the tune now. But here comes police. Police are attacking now. This one is whipped inside now. And a header that takes a deflection. Richard Hood, he is furious at the moment. Breathing fire. Here we go. Can you see the fire coming from his nostrils? I can't either, but I imagine that it would be. Still Charles Furby. He's on his feet now, interestingly. After his side is bleeding, he's found his feet. Always seems to be that cool, calm customer, Stuart Charles Fouvier. Almost beat the picture of the, those Western figures. Never seem to be ruffled. So, Toby Connection now. They certainly aren't ruffled as they lead by two goals to nil. Gerald Brito certainly putting in his shift on the defensive end of the field. Here is McPhee. He's left this one. As it's a W connection through now, Kurt Russell. Or Frederick, to other Kurt Frederick. He's going to take this one. Into Gerald Brito. Finds Hashim Asiya, who tries his luck. But no luck was present for him. But he certainly had the idea, the goalkeeper off his line. Well, Hashim Ars here, the man in the picture now, the number 14. Also played basketball for Stryker Nets in the National Super 10 for deciding on a, a permanent move. Football. Very promising player, Ars here. Very good basketball player. I'm sure he must have been more content. With the success. Oh, that just Gerald Brito out of nothing. And how good a save was that? <laughs> well, Gerald Brito, he seems to be jealous that his name isn't in the credits at the moment. Trying his luck there. And the big palm from Fonset. Fonset certainly has recovered well. One of the most promising youth goalkeepers before suffering a terrible injury. But he has bounced back nicely. Here's W connection now. Can it be three now? Fonset can't can keep it out. Has that come off the crossbar? I'm not quite sure. But police, they are on the counter attack now. It's police streaming down the left hand side now, looking to cut inside. And there's a chance now, maybe for Perry. He's quick, but he can't get there in front of Frederick. And that one is. Pooted away. Could it be a counter attack for W Connection? Stefano Riesel tries to keep it alive. Can he? Hashim Asia joins the action now. As Riesel has won it. Fantastic job by the goal scorer Riesel. Which with Jobin Jones now. He's bursting forward. He's got Brito to his left. Finds Brito. Brito looking for some movement. Ops to go back to Silvio Span and Span with a clever back heel. Sends it all the way back. W Connection try to recharge now. Frederick, Brito, that's some brown, maybe too big, but Brito has won it back, and you don't want Brito shooting here, here's Hashim here now, looking for space, W connection, quite patient, Alvin George, he's got a bright foot, and Fonset, oh my goodness, Fonset has come alive, after having two goals scored on him, 
not prepared to have goal number three. Carving that one away. Alvin Jones certainly has a sting of a right foot. And my goodness, that person should be in jail for allowing him to get all that space to shoot. Here comes police start Ryan battling for this one and Jovin Jones who finds Gerald Brito. Brito, he's got time, he's got space. What will he do? Time plus space equals nothing because he loses possession. But it's W Connection coming again with it. Can they get another bite of the cherry? Oh my goodness, what a fantastic piece of footwork. Certainly excited the crowd. But the goalkeeper, Fon said he was alert. And this game has sprung to life now. W Connection again, Brito. Seems to be getting a lot of opportunity now. Swings his left foot. And that one goes out of touch. The excitement is over. Back to your seat, boys and girls. It's going to be a police goal kick. But how about this for Fredericks? Defensive player showing he's got some attacking skills as well. But that is certainly some fantastic defending. Credit must be given to Elijah Belgrave for presenting, preventing further damage. Well, Dobby Connection appears set to make their first substitution, the Colombian Christian Viveros. He's at the touchline. So you spawn most likely the player being replaced. And in fact, it has been confirmed. Silvio Span, the former TNT international, played in Perugia in Italy. Son of Leroy Span makes his way off. And Christian Viveros, the Colombian, gets his first piece of the action. Well, police certainly are having a hard time at containing Dobby Connection. They seem bloodthirsty, and you wouldn't like them when they're bloodthirsty. How will the lawmen respond? Certainly seem to be missing Kareem Perry a bit. He scored two of the goals, getting them into the final. Oh, but here's a burst from Belgrade. Coming forward, well, he is a defensive player, but he can get quite ambitious at times. Almost won them something there, but they still keep possession now. Yes, Jamil Perry, brother of Kareem Perry, also scored two goals in the semi-finals. A 4-2 trashing of the defense force. It's the lawmen slipping away from them. It's the first time they have been in a local final at this level in 18 years. So far, it has been a nightmare for them. Started off as a nice dream. A space of two minutes has turned into a nightmare. Can they wake up anytime soon? Pull this match back within their grasp. Dobby Connection. They'll be hoping to extend now. Here they come. Joven Jones on his left foot. Plays it out to Brito again. Being formed in an offside position. Shall go shoulder job with the shoulder from Brito. He's disappointed. Police won't mind though, as they try to beat an attack now. Trent Noel. If anything is to happen, one would bet that he would be involved. Noel. Oh, there we go. Kristen Thomas now trying to find the advancing Perry. Can't find him. They have won a throw for their team. Chet Morel races to the touchline to throw this one in. There's Noel. Back to the number 29, McPhee. All the way back. This one is whooped inside now. Oh, and a nice take from Perry. Such a skillful pair of Perry. But unfortunately, he couldn't get his shot off. Well, Julani Archibald, he seems to be pretty okay now. After his injury concerns earlier. On set. Cool and calm under pressure. As police try to create something or build something out of their field of the field now. Banging this one forward. It's going to be an easy chase. Or is it not going to be? Almost turned into something. As McPhee. Marshall does accelerate a pedal. 
getting to that one. Good hard work from the young man. Joel Russell trying to find a resell. He gets bumped. Foul says Nefri Neil Brizan. Well, in case you just joined us, it's W Connection who lead by two goals to nil against Police FC in this Digicel Pro Bowl finals. Gerald Brito, get, Brito gets an opportunity now. Brito, can he get something from this? No, he can't in the end. That's the answer to your question. As the police keeper, Fonset, picks up. Trying to urge his troops forward now. Police trying to come away with something on the left-hand side. It's a sprint now. Perry trying to win something now. Could he? A slip-up could cost it for him. Lose his possession as Gerald Williams takes this one out cool and calm. Well, here comes W Connection now. It is Jones flicking this one inside. Hashemas here! Oh, is that a save? My goodness! That is save of the tournament from Adrian Fonset! 3-0 and already started to emerge on the scoreboard until Adrian Fonset determined that that goal was not going to count. Here we go, Hashim Arsier could have put a bit more power into it, but Adrian Fonset, how about that? Take a bow, young man. Kenwin Jones, the Stoke City striker looking on there. He must know the pain that Hashim Arsier is feeling. But how about that from a save for Fonset? As a police player, remains down. Fonset seems to be beaten. Did he stop that right palm out there? There you go. No entry. Visa denied. One must know that he was quick to recover. Recovering well to cut the angle in the end. Excellent goalkeeping from the former national youth player, Adrian Fonset. Certainly one of the bright stars, bright young keepers. Well, McPhee seems to be okay as he gets back to his feet. Digital girls taking the action now as W Connection storm forward. Take back in their own half now. What can they do? Gerard Williams loses the ball. It seems odd to see him lose possession. Not usually the type of player to lose possession that easily. But police, they have lost it. And across the area now, it's Gerald Brito wrestling with one. He goes down, gets back to his feet now. He's going to find Fredericks. Fredericks looks for some support. Finds Jobin Jones. Can't find us here. It's police have won it. Trent Noel picks it up now. He's got to create something to get this police team sparking to life. Todd Ryan loses it. Fortunately for him, the referee whistles go. Ripple whistle go, has gone. Means that he gets an opportunity now for his team. Ryan swings it across, looking for some support now. Headed away by Joel Russell. Kenaz Williams now, the former national 17 player, looking to do something now. Ramirez gets in his way. Ramirez picks up now. Ramirez gets another bite, swings his left foot. And Reverend Neil Brazan has interrupted that. Well, Derby Connection seems to be making another switch. Neil Benjamin Jr. seems to be the man coming on. And Gerald Brito, former San Juan senior comprehensive player, and San Juan Jablity player, he's making his way off. So Neil Benjamin Jr., the 19-year-old Derby Connection, attacking forward, wide forward. He makes his way on. Considered one of the fastest players on the local circuit, Neil Benjamin Jr. Certainly has had a decent season. Here comes Stefano Risa switching wings now. As the player, it seems like Frederick goes down in a heap. And Angel Hutchinson receives what appears to be the first yellow card of the match. He's going to get 10.5 for that perfect execution of the dive and roll. All right to, to win it, though. Here's the tackle once again from Hutchinson. Quite late on the tackle. But certainly, Fredericks made the most of that opportunity. Doesn't seem to be very much contact. 
Christian Viveros, the Colombian, loses it in a dangerous posi position. Yes, Jamil Perry now, he goes on a trek. Remember that solo run he made in the semi-finals? Well, that is not going to happen because he's lost possession. Gerard Williams, cool as a cucumber, picks it up now. It is with Gubby Connection. Ashe here plays it out wide now. Asie, what a fantastic turn. Could it be a good? Could he put a cherry on the top now? But it's a save! Points it! Has to be the man of the match! My goodness! As the rebound goes over the top! But credit to Adrian Pointset! Certainly produced two delightful saves in the early to deny them. Asie Marcier first with the excellent turn. And the opportunity, Jobin Jones finding his wide man. And what a save, Frederick denied once, denied twice, and then deny himself the opportunity to score. Adrian Fonset certainly has to be one of the top players in this match. And Stephen Hart, take note, sir. This could be your future national number one. And take a bow, Adrian Fonset. Save number one, recovers well. Save number two, and then he doesn't have to save because that one was never going to trouble him. Well, Tommy Connection certainly are piling on the pressure, and had it not been for Adrian Fonset, police they would be dragging a double bag full of goals at the moment. Well, the policemen seem to have lost the game plan. Can't seem to detect where the goal is. The detection rate has gone down. But they come searching now. They are making a raid now, police. And that is some good defensive work by Gubby Connection. Alvin Jones is going to pick up this one. Bounding it forward, finds his brother, Jovin Jones. Looks up now, finds Riesel. We saw oh, that's a good dummy, and it's a chance now, and who's in the way? Adrian Fonset, won't you believe it? He seems to be here, there, and everywhere. He seems to be omni-saving, omnipresent. Adrian Fonset, again denying Derby Connection. What do they have to do to score this man? Adrian Fonset. Well, there we go again. The chance going to begging. Adrian Fonset doing well to save with his foot there. But Derby Connection, they can... Increase the advantage perhaps in the corner. Jobin Jones now looking now. Lots of space for us. Yeah! But he drags it wide in the end. In fact, that was Rizal who dragged that one wide. He's Suriname's player. Time and space. He could have parked a bus with that space he got. He dragged the shot wide. Doesn't matter though. His side lead by two goals to nil. Gerard Williams now picks up that one. Trent Noel cleans up. Police, they're all over the place at the moment. And referee Brazani seems to have some sympathy on them. Trent Noel, he's got to inspire his troops. If he can't do it, I don't think there's anybody else that could. Todd Ryan loses that one. Well, what a contest we have. I'm sure the fans are not disappointed at the moment. Police fans, they may be. Derby Connection lead by two goals to nil. But certainly, the second half has certainly lit up. Yes, Neil Benjamin Jr. And here's that legendary pace I was telling you about. It's a chance now! And that one points it can't stop. Derby, Derby Connection. Junior, he kept his feet, he kept his footing, and how about that from Jovin Jones, getting out of the way, allowing his player to score that goal, but Riesel gets his second of the night, and Derby Connection lead by three goals to nil. Now I can't help but feel sorry for police though, they certainly fought the good fight of fate, in the end they gave up hope, and now their ship seems to be wrecked. 
somewhere in no man's land. Can they repair it? Seems a bit beyond repair at the moment. It's never over until the fat lady sings. Hopefully police can find one. Gerard Williams now. Alvin Jones. Oh, the to Tommy, to no one in particular. Not a good intention, though. Well, how will police respond? They have not responded to simu any stimulation earlier, but here they have an opportunity now. It's a chance now. Could it be a chance now? Hutchinson can control it. And it's Frederick. Frederick's mix. A push forward. Wiggles, waggles. Finally finds Jovin Jones now. Jovin Jones plays it back now to his brother Alvin, or resell rather. But it's still alive. Police, they seem disinterested in getting at that one. Well, they finally have gotten the ball to safety somewhat. But Gerard Williams is hustling for this one. He wants it back. Kristen Thomas did well to keep it in, but Trent Noel, he's lost it. All the way back to Mikel Williams, former TNT International. Spent some time in Finland. Here comes Neil Benjamin Jr. Oh, it's a clever one from Benjamin Jr. Can't find his man, though, as Fonset gets off his line. You've got to feel it for Fonset. He's certainly had an excellent game all evening, although the score line doesn't really back that statistic up. But here comes police now. They can go home with a consolation item if that one was anywhere close to what the intention was. Fortunately, in real life, things don't always go according to plan. He found that one out the hard way. Certainly had an option in the area. Well, we're just about eight minutes or so away from full time. Toby Connection that lead by three goals to nil in this Pro Bowl final against Police FC. It's their first final in 18 years. But I think they'll go an extra year without having won a title in local football. Last title they won 20 years ago. 1994. Last time they won a local title, police. Certainly have produced some top-notch players as that one zings into the advertising board behind the goal. Certainly have produced some top-notch players, individual players, police. They haven't clicked as a team in recent years. One might fondly remember the likes of Michael Maurice, former strike squad goalkeeper. Kelvin Jones, in fact, who is the father of both Jovin and Alvin Jones, former police player, also police coach. Sons would be happy that they are on the opposite end this evening, winning end. So mixed feelings for Kelvin Jones, seeing his former team go under the hammer, seeing his sons get some success. for Jovin Jones, he can't get it. He leaves it for Neil Benjamin Jr. Lines up his shot and pulls it wide in the end. Yeah, pull once, pull once. Well, he might need a protractor. Time like that. He had time and space to find his angle. Fortunately for him, he tried it freehand. I've been going to let you. Where are you? I've been Way off the target. Huh? Well, that's time like that. Lots of time and space to take his shot. Horizontally incorrect. Well, here now is W Connection. Jovin Jones skips past his man. He's floating like a butterfly around this field now. Jovin Jones, he's starting to force the park. He found it difficult to find space earlier in the contest. 
gives it away though. Sherrod Williams as usual to tidy up. Would make a good barber, Gerard Williams. Always there to tidy up. on a side that has been mediocre at its best. Well, just about four minutes remaining in regulation time. So Derby Connection making this look all too easy in the end. As police, they seem to have run out of steam. They seem to have run out of ideas. Well, here comes Derby Connection. Fredericks now and Fonset is clear and present yes sir he is on the roster adrian fonset he's certainly letting his name be known frederick's trying to get around fonset on big like a mac truck the small man makes himself stops that one christian viver was now to clean up can't do so Todd Ryan now, the police looking to find Ramirez. Come on, Gerard Williams, such an elegant play on the pitch. He's seen kids international. Certainly one of the shooting for MVP of the season. But he's got to compete though with his club teammate, Jovin Jones. Dead and dusted. 
Can they find a consolation? Tread Noel, if anybody can help them do so. Tread Noel now. Loads it up high. No one in the blue shirt at the end of that one. Jovan Jones plays major. Here comes Stefano Riesel. He's got one player ahead of him. He's got three defenders chasing. He likes this sort of a challenge. But the defenders win out. I've lost a bit of wind now, Riesel. Lovely the connection. They've won it back. Christian Vinerus to Jamal Williams. Very exciting young playmaker. Neil Benjamin Jr. now using his nitrous boost. Can he get into a good position? He's lost his footing, but he does find his player. And a shot! And goes wide of the mark. Not a bad effort there from Dobby Connection. As police seem to be all over the place, Neil Benjamin Jr. lost his footing, but he's so quick. Gets the toe in there to Jones, swivels and turns and shoots. Can't get a second of the night. Here comes Ramirez now for police. Ramirez succeeds in almost knocking Joel Russell unconscious. And finding his players inside the area. Well, police certainly cannot say the not have opportunities. We've had so many corner kicks for the evening. The seventh corner kick of the evening as Trent Noel steps up again. Hoping for a good service. Richard Hood, the police coach. Trent Noel, his service is a good one. And no blue shield get to the end of this one, but they have a second bite on the cherry now. Will they put the cream on? Police with an opportunity, a shot, a deflection. Where is it going? It's gone out and it is a goal kick. It's a derby connection. So we've expired regular time as the fourth official puts up his board indicating we will have three minutes of added on time. Well, according to my statistic, they need at least a goal a minute. Police, if they have to get back in this contest. At the moment, W Connection, they've got one hand already on the Digicel Pro Bowl. This will be title number five for the Sabinetta boys this season. Yes, I'm enjoying one thing out. The current reigning league champions can add the Pro Bowl title. Certainly, Mr. Watson the title after losing the Central Seven. rival Central FC. But they can win this cup competition now. Seems to have it all dusted. Police seem to have resigned to that. Oh, Jared Williams almost stealing in there. There's a chance now for W Connection. Whips out across the area. A wick, a bounce, slip, a mistake. Oh, and that is gone out for a corner. Jordan Jones firing that left footed. Must have had a bulletproof boot, the police player. But interestingly, oh, that, that the referee has overturned the oh, decision. Before. And here is that player again, Jovin Jones, swinging that left oh, one, looking that one. for yeah, goal yeah, yeah. number two. You want to get past Elijah Belgrave. Yeah, but you want to now? All right, go, 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 yes, a man of steel at the back of the police. Right. Fortunately, you didn't have any help this evening. Two up, you? Nice. Police FC. Well, they seem to know this, this contest is over. Not eager to go forward. They're praying that referee Neil Bazan puts his mouth to that whistle. Hasn't done so yet. As Dobby Connection still appear bloodthirsty. Gerard Williams, Jamal Williams, Good. Stefano Riesel, Jamal Williams. Lots of Williams on this Dobby Connection lineup. Got the likes of Gerard Williams, Jamal Williams. Kel Williams, of course, the owner, David John Williams, lots of Williams in this W Connection team. Well, we're inside the final minute of added on time in this contest. W Connection lead by three goals to nil against Police FC, who need a miracle. That miracle, the time for that has expired as Rafael Brazil blows the final whistle, which signals that.
Kingston, W Connection are the 2013, 2014 Digital Pro Bowl champions. So the Southern and the boys have done it again, adding this to their league success that they won just under two weeks ago. Clinching the Digital Pro Bowl title. But Police FC certainly tried to keep themselves in the hunt in this match. But it was W Connection who did all the right stuff in this match. Central team dominating this contest, eventually getting the goals that needed. And there's a proud supporter sporting the Derby Connection flag. They're going to be happy, they're going to be celebrating long into the evening. Well, here is the first goal. Alvin Jones creating the first opportunity and Stefano Risa like a true workman getting it on the second bite, smashing this one into the far post past Adrian Fonset who could do nothing about it. Derby Connection leading by a goal to nil. They would get their seconds less than two minutes later. This cross on Brito eluding everyone but Joven Jones who smashes it high into the net pulls his shirt off and he celebrates. He's a happy man. 2-0 Derby Connection. And well, they would sew this up as a contest later on, as Stefano Riesel would get his third of the match. That was a blast from, from Alvin Jones there. Stefano Riesel would get his third of the match. But how about Adrian Fonset? He certainly has been the subplot of this contest, producing some brilliant saves. Here comes the third goal now. Nice ball inside. In fact, that is the double save by Fonset again. He's been excellent all evening. Certainly has been the only bright spot in this dark police lineup. So in the end, Derby Connection winning by three goals to nil against Police FC clinching the Digital Pro Bowl, the final title of the season. For police, it certainly has been a good run. But in the end, they should be happy with themselves, getting to a final after 18 years. But W Connection dusting this one off and winning by three goals. We're going to take a short break and come back with the presentation ceremony right here on We Sports, your station for local sports at the Digital Pro Bowl Finals. And W Connection are champions. in this contest certainly for the good fight KL W Connection scoreless at the half unfortunately for them they ran out of steam in the end and they would eventually fall victims the 3-0 defeat no shame falling 3-0 to the defending league champions W Connection police getting to their first final in 18 years beaten but by no means disgraced as they receive their medals from Wendy Allen Sponsors Digicel. Elijah Belgrave, the hard man defender, receiving his. Here's Kristen Thomas. McPhee. Kenaz Williams, the former national youth player. Certainly lots of potential, young Kenaz Williams. Perry, Jamil Perry, receiving his winner's medal. 
Elijah Roberts. Wendell Joseph didn't make an appearance tonight. Certainly former standout youth player. Dexter Skeen, the Pro League CEO, handing out the medals to police. Richard Hood, he certainly would be a disappointed man this evening. That is the police coach, but beaten by no means disgraced in the end. Very happy. The player from Maloney, Maloney. Neil Perry. But he's also won a smartphone as well for his achievement on the pitch, Jimmy Perry. Certainly an exciting player to look at. rather of the champions W connection and anytime now they will be stepping up to receive their winners trophy stadium or anyone that has been following local football that would disagree. Stefano Riesel, the Surinamese player, big name as the most valuable player in the city of Pro Bowl. Certainly, as I mentioned earlier, has been the impact player for Derby Connection, scoring at crucial moments. Had a fantastic start to the season. Unfortunately, injury robbed him most of the season. But he certainly has brought a lot of quality to the Pro League since his arrival from Suriname. Rightly so, Stefano Riesel. He's the most valuable player. Finally, we get a sighting of the champions, El Championes. Shortly, they will be stepping up to receive their honors. I'm certainly pleased as punch for a lack of a better expression. Lots of smiles all around. It certainly is a happy occasion if you're a W Connection fan. Or if you're a fan of football, certainly will be happy at the moment. National has been the support for the Derby Connection Club. They're celebrating their 15th anniversary this year, Derby Connection. And what a crowning achievement getting the league 
competition, as well as getting the last laugh, so to speak. Final cup of the competition, the Digital Pro Bowl, as well as the coach of the season right now, Scott Charles Wilson. Leslie Russell has been solid at the back all evening. Jelani Archibald, the St. Kitts Nevis goalkeeper. Joven Jones sporting his new Mohawk hair style, Mikel Williams. Jamal Brito, one of the revelations of the season, Alvin Jones. Connection club, no strangers to titles, local soil. Neil Benjamin Jr. played with his father. Must have given away my age there. Hashim Asia. Stefano Riesel, the MVP of the tournament. Akulia Sylvester, former NAPS goalkeeper. Gerard Williams, the captain of this Dobby Connection team. It's their manager, Raymond McLean now. And there's their proud owner, always a proud and happy guy, TV John Williams, anytime his team wins. Some of the technical staff of W Connection, giving their winner's medal. And Elijah Joseph, now assistant coach, former player. Lucian International. has been one of the best players of the past decade. Connection, they are having the moment of their lives, and what a way to celebrate their year as a club. Titles, trophies, as big as a house there. Looks taller than the, the skipper Gerard Wilkins. But that such is the size of their empire. Derby Connection. They're going to be partying, they're going to be celebrating long into the night. Digital Pro Bowl champions 2013-2014. Very spiritually based club, Derby Connection. We've known to battle around and pray after victories and successes. So there you have it, El Championes of Trinidad and Tobago, Champions of Trinidad and Tobago, W Connection, on behalf of our team here at B Sports. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Goodbye for now.